Look what I've made. And just like that, I have a mini power bank from the battery of the phone. Pretty cool, no? Let me show you how I've built it. So here in SolidWorks, I've designed a case, which is divided into compartments. One small for the charging electronics and one large for the phone battery. As you can see, there are cutouts for the two USB ports, one micro, the other one type A. Another cutout where you can put um, your finger to remove the battery. And another small cutout between the two compartments to have the battery connector. And this is the lid used to cover the electronics. This lid will be printed in two colors from a single extruder 3D printer. I will show you how I did this in the next video, so please subscribe for that. And here's the part being printed. I'm using PLA, the cheapest on Amazon. And here is the final product. It looks quite nice if I say that myself. This is a tiny charging circuit. This is made from the internals of one of those cylindrical 18650 DIY kits from eBay. And I've connected it to the battery connector that was on the broken LG G3 motherboard that I bought broken from AliExpress. Click on the top corner for that video. What I did is simply to solder two wires from the plus and the minus of the board to the plus and the minus of the battery connector. Let's see if my measurements were okay and if it fits. Let's test it with the battery. Damn, I am impressed. It fits nicely and it doesn't fall. Let's see if it's working. This is a battery bank that I've uh, wrapped. Click on the top corner to see how I wrap stuff with the uh, vinyl. And it's working. Now let's see if the other way around works. This is actually the LG G3 phone that I will be using with this battery. And everything looks perfect. And now if the battery that is in the phone is depleted, I can open the phone and swap it with this spare one. As you can see, they are the same. Just like that. Now I can charge the depleted one outside the phone. By the way, this is the sketch that I did before the 3D modeling. I just quickly traced the components on a piece of paper that I found and then measured everything. And this is the final result. Now let's put on the lid. Okay, look how nice it looks with the black writing. At least in my opinion it does. Let me know in the comments if you like it or not. What I've did uh, additionally is to heat up the bottom part with a hairdryer until it got a bit soft and then put the battery in so it will take the shape of the bottom of the battery and lock perfectly in place. Now it just snaps. Like I've said in the next video, I'll show you how to print multicolored parts with a single extruder 3D printer and using Cura as the slicer. So if you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe. I'm heading towards 1000 subscribers, slowly but surely. So each and every one of you counts. Thanks for watching and please check the other videos I have on my channel. See you next time. Bye.